Hey guys, I'm here at Mount Tahoma High School as part of a Relay for Life event. Uh, it's a fundraising event for the American Cancer Society. And this is a project that I like to call Bob Walk. So this is Bob Walk 2015. So for the next 24 hours, I'm gonna be walking with my urban bug out bag around this track multiple times. My goal is to make it up to 50 miles and I'm gonna to try to go 24 hours straight to do a test of endurance, also to show uh, hope to those that are battling cancer and also to spread awareness of emergency preparedness. So let's get started now with this video featuring Bob Walk. So I'm going to probably break this one up into three parts because it's going to be a long one. So let's get started. Here's my tent site which is called the Prepper Community. That's my team name. So over at my little tent I have some emergency water uh, that was uh, sponsored by Daytrix. So I have some Daytrix emergency uh, water pouches. And then I also have a little water filter here. It's made by Teva Water. It's a home water filter. Uh, it's a, a lot more inexpensive than the Berkey ones that you've seen. And it's used in a lot of third world countries. So I've been testing this for the past several months. And I'm going to be using this for dispensing uh, water for the event. So uh, actually we're going to get started with the first lap now. You can hear probably in the background over there that someone's talking so let's make our way to the start line and let's begin bob walk it's the opening ceremony the zombie max there we go, welcome. There we go. Look at that outfit. <laughs> $70 pants right there, well spent. There we go, REI. REI, REI special. We are live on Endemondo. Now, Relay for Life is a great event, but it has some of the worst choice in music and walking music. Oh, man. I was hoping to never hear this song again. This can't save me from this. <laughs> All right, guys, so we've been going for about three hours now, and we got some recruitments that came. So we have Daniel from Mountain RM, RN. I'm going to put a link on his channel in the description box below. You've probably seen him in the comment section on almost all the videos, probably, right? <laughs> so he just came all the way from Canada. Like, how long was your trip? I left at 7 o'clock in the morning. 7 in the morning, and now it's 3 p.m., all just to be here for this. So we're going to be walking. We're going to be able to walk the whole time? Oh, yeah. The whole time. So... <laughs> And then I get back on the bus. And then he's going back on the bus <laughs> and going home. So it's just like, it's a miserable vacation for him, but it's going to be fun though too. And we still got Max over here. Max, you remember him from the zombie uh, Phoenix flashlight video. So we're going to do some more laps over here, uh, meet some people and have some fun. But everything's going good so far. Yeah, it's good to have uh, reinforcements on the team. Then. So let's get going. <laughs> hey, what's going on here? Prepper wet. You're wet. <laughs> Give me the camera. No way! No way! Not some wet kid! Not some wet kid! Is that Arthur? Can I have a sip? Nope! Please! Nope! Yes. I don't trust little wet kids! <laughs> Alright, Mountain Arians teaching a little little arch of your foot strategy here. Working out them bunions. There you go. Get those bunions out of there. Alright, so. Yeah, I'm not doing that. All right, so Mountain RN was showing us his EDC when we were walking around here, and I had to film it again. Now he's not—he's not taking his pants off. It's not that kind of show, guys. But you got to check this out really quick. So, well, you, now you have your flashlight here, right? Gonna, there we go. Relay for life EDC check. But check this out. Boom. So it's like a kind of like an Altoids tin, but in, or, but in your belt. Now this is called the money belt? Yeah, they, they're the money belt that the travelers have. So, so we got the True Nano, and the batteries that mm -hmm. goes with it. Uh, this is the Paracord, and this one has the um, a jute twine inside. Yeah. So, but, uh, two of the Zippo emergency uh, fire starters. There you go. And this, since it's urban, I... Uh, a handcuff key, just in case. case. A, um, and this is all TSA approved, yeah. so I don't have like blades and stuff. So my only really blade, again, in case that I would be uh, holding um, illegal restraints yeah. uh, with duct tape. There you so, go. Uh, and it's a... Uh, I have a can of tuna. <laughs> there you go, just in case. 
not worth much here, but uh, yeah, Canadian <laughs> money with some um, some uh, quarters and stuff. So small go. bills. So some currency. Um, Can you get the those safety pins, but they uh, huge they straw, safety pin too. Huh? They throw up bulky ones. Yeah. So and then uh, something to uh, kind of filter water and uh, purify it. Yeah. And then I got uh, ferrous rod, and then I can use also the uh, and it's at the yeah. aluminum one. And so that's why also I carry this so they can uh, strike. There you go. There you go. So I can awesome. strike as well. So. Now, can you get this at Amazon? This belt, or where does, where do you get so, that yeah. from? And it comes. You, this is like a. Yeah, it, it comes like that. Yeah. It comes in a leather, a brown yeah, and one. It's, uh, one size fit all. So the. Yeah. Uh, the belt buckle is adjustable then. Yeah. The, Basically, you measure it, yeah. then you cut it, and then it uh, a few tweaks. That is so, so cool. <laughs> I, I definitely need to pick up one of these. <laughs> yeah, we were walking around the track, and I was like, all right, quick, EDC check. And then he busts out the belt with all the stuff in it. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> For the win. And I always carry it. Like it's, yeah. it's not like... I mean, a, it's just so convenient. It's, yeah. it's probably even more convenient than having the Altoids because sometimes yeah. Yeah, those well, get a little bulky. Yeah, like, well, you, we didn't even see in that. Yeah. Because we were walking, I had my wallet and everything. And yeah. this is why I carry it this way because if somebody steals my wallet, it's, yeah. I still have uh, this to get home. So. Yeah, that is so cool. Yeah. So. Yeah, so guys, check this out. I, I definitely got to pick up one of these and do a review and try to do a little kit of it because it's just too cool. All right, so here's what I'm carrying for my Urban Bug Out bag, a version 3.0. Some of this stuff actually goes inside of it. It's just not there right now because I'm showing it to different people as we're walking. Uh, so basically, I have like a little go bag here. Like it's kind of like a go bottle because it has a bottle of uh, cooking and it basically has like Dave Canterbury's 10 C's of survival all in there. So it kind of replaces my SAS survival pouch right there. It even has a 100 foot of cordage over there by Custom Paracord uh, Creations. Uh, they made it for the shoulder strap, which is really, really cool. And so then I have, this is my tools compartment here. And then over here I have a solar charger. This is my RAV power. Over here we have uh, my first aid module, which I have a little bit different this time. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. So it's actually like a, a hygiene like bathroom kit. And I, I really wanted to have a red first aid module that had this kind of layout so then I could hang it up somewhere if need be. So I have kind of the bandages there to have more of the trauma stuff in there, even able to fit a SAM splint. And, so that's really cool. So then for the main bug out bag, I'm using the Kelty Red Wind 50, uh, Red Wing 50, sorry. Uh, just because I wanted to kind of go with more of a gray man approach instead of the Rush 72. And also uh, this one has a little bit better back support, uh, which I'm really noticing for this particular version of uh, Bob Law. So that's just this right here makes all the difference because you have a nice airflow. Uh, so let's uh, open it up really quick and I'll show you some of the items that are in it and stay tuned for the full video featuring uh, my updated Urban Bob. All right, so on the outside here, I have a little paracord that was made, also made by Custom Paracord Creations. It's just for my Urban Altoids EDC tin. It even has a fire striker and a compass there. Uh, but I just hooked it up on the outside, especially for this event, because I wanted to have my Urban EDC bag. So this isn't how it's going to be finally organized. I just kind of uh, threw it in there, and I'll do a full review of it later. Basically, I'm really leveraging all the information from the color of prepping video. So you'll see I have, this isn't actually an Eagle Creek. This is uh, e-bags which makes them in more colors than Eagle Creek does. But anyway, I have personal items in there. Uh, you might even see the SAS Survival book right in there. I also have my uh, fire kit over here with uh, various uh, fire starting equipment. And orange is a uh, fire in the color prepping video. Then when you open up this little top in here, I just have uh, some things in there, like I have a little snacks compartment that you see here. So again, green is for food for me. And then I have other items for like, uh, I call it like for, for my eyes, for ears, hands, and uh, uh, respiration type stuff. So uh, all that's up in this top of here for quick access. Also the headlamp would be in there. So let me open it up really quick. Again, I don't want to show you everything because I want to save it for the video, but I'll at least give you a sneak peek. I might have to change the camera angle really quick. 
All right, so everything's kind of thrown in here just for this particular event. Uh, but as you can see, it all has various colors, all for the different uh, modules that I'm using for my kit. So uh, this gray one here is uh, for cooking. A uh, yellow one is for comms, so for uh, my radios, uh, navigation, compass, things like that are all in this one. A uh, nice little emergency bivy here. I'm also going to be including a, uh, an ultralight tent on the outside. Uh, this water one is for uh, my water filtration, so I have uh, a water filter in there, uh, the tablets, and things like that. I also have an uh, emergency shovel here, a collapsible one. It's a really nice one too. Uh, purple, that's all the clothing. And then the bottom here is the same size of this, uh, but it's a green one and that's for my main food, for like the mountain house and things like that. I also have the bladder. And then for the most part on some of these outer pockets, I have a lot more of the things that are might be considered weapons for this particular event. So I took them out, uh, things like a rescue axe and any kind of knives and uh, fuel canisters. I want to make sure that those are all taken out just for this event. But stay tuned uh, for the final organization of the uh, Urban Bob version 3.0. It's going to have all this stuff uh, with more labels and I'll go into it in a lot more detail. All right guys, we've got, got three people now on the, on the Prepper community team. No, we got five. Mountain RN. We got Brianna and my mom. Oh yeah, well right now in this oh, particular oh, squad. Okay, yeah, yeah. In our squad right now. GoPro cameras rocking it. Yep. There Selfie stick. <laughs> <laughs> It's very impressive. Uh -oh, yep, see? See? Anybody, he deserves to win. <laughs> you deserve to win. Awesome. I'm glad. <laughs> can, I get a, can I get a selfie? You sure can. All right, there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Those are nice heels. Those are really <laughs> nice. <laughs> now, what okay. team is this? This is well. I this is my this is my alter okay, ego well, name. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually okay. just from Pennsylvania. I came for one year. I made my own team. Okay. I just called myself the mayor because the mayor. The mayor because I, I someone gave me a title. They said you should be like the mayor of Relay for Life because you go to so many events. <laughs> cool. I go I go to I go to 25 to 30 events oh a year. My. Pretty much back in Pennsylvania. But oh, if you're gonna hey, if you're gonna say you're the mayor, might as well come here. Cool. So now I can say I can I can earn that. I I'm gonna put this up on YouTube. So check out the mayor from Pennsylvania. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we're uh, almost at the end of uh, eight hours, so a third of the way done. Walking over here with Mountain RN. Also got the rep rest of the prep community going too. Uh, so I think we're going to do a little dinner break. Uh, so let's uh, start wrapping up this particular video. We'll start off with uh, part two, which will be going through the night. So from 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. And I'm, I imagine I'm going to be struggling at 4 a.m. I don't know. I don't know. Not our essence, just totally fine. So. <laughs> All right, guys, hope you guys are enjoying watching this video featuring Bob Walk 2015 uh, with the Prepper community, and we're having a good time uh, talking about all sorts of stuff, right? And it has great music here. And we just, just saw the mayor. Yeah, and, we, <laughs> and we saw the mayor, so you know it's got to be good. All right, guys, see ya.